let's complete talk about velocity speed and uh, take something new called acceleration okay but before that let me to ask you some questions about okay now suppose that we have car and this car can move uh, 120 kilometer okay per hour okay now this is the first question I will ask but let me to ask you another question also okay and uh, after after one hour after one hour this car can reach 120 kilometer okay after one hour can reach 120 kilometer and if we said that this car 120 kilometer per hour moves to east okay now this number one called what number two called what number three called what yes guys see here guys when we have kilometer per hour or meter per second or mile per hour all of that are called speed without direction but if we conclude the direction with the speed it's called the velocity and if we said that kilometer or meters or miles now we are speak about dense, uh, 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 distance okay that is the difference between all of these uh, take it before okay now uh, let's take another thing with another question now suppose that guys we have two cars now the first car the first car start from zero okay it uh, uh, start from rest okay now uh, it was zero with the zero second it was in zero meter of course not start to uh, uh, start to move yet okay now after one second uh, reach 20 meter okay uh, 20 meter the speed uh, is 20 meter per second after two seconds the speed increase and become 40 meter per second after three seconds the the speed increase becomes 60 meter per second after four seconds it's become uh, uh, 80 meter per second okay now as you see here guys now that is called speed okay and that is time okay now when the speed change 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 with time that is called acceleration okay that is called acceleration repeat with me here now this acceleration it means what it means speed over time how much of the speed will change with time we can say that acceleration is changing chain Jing okay sorry okay now changing uh, uh, in uh, speed speed over time over time that is called acceleration changing in speed over time that is called acceleration okay now how can we calculate the acceleration if we divide spe uh, speed speed Divided by time, we can get the acceleration for any speed here. If we take, for example, 40 meter per second divided by 2 equals what? Huh? Equals what? Give me your answer. 20 meter per second square. Okay, now 20 meter per second square. That is acceleration. Okay, now the acceleration for this car, it means the speed increase every second by 20 meter per second every second the speed increase for 20 meter per second like that that is the acceleration meaning how much does the speed change that is the acceleration or oh, the acceleration guys not just uh, faster also the object slows down accelerate but slows down okay what does it mean it means that it's about that the same car and this the same car move in speed of 80 meter per second okay after four seconds and now the the, the uh, this guy inside the car he uh, uh, he forgot something in his home okay and want to back again to his home what he will make he'll push the brake right and after five seconds now it becomes 60 slow down slow down after six seconds uh, 40 20 zero stop he should to stop right yeah now when he stop and uh, uh, to back again now he slows down he slows down that is also acceleration guys because it's changing his speed okay now any changing in his speed to increase or decrease both of them are acceleration that is the meaning of acceleration changing in speed over time 
that is the acceleration force let's talk about force or rainbow force okay force what is the force force is very important for our life okay without force the car can't move without force you can't run you can't run of course you can't run why because you should to have force to move you will use your muscles to run right that is a force lets you to move and run that is the force we explain that to now guys okay now just a minute please uh, let's give you some examples about force so understand uh, how can we use force suppose that we have bus bus of course is very huge and very heavy as you know right that is the bus school bus okay and unfortunately this bus not working and want to move okay and uh, what we can do to to uh, let this car or this bus to move we can push this car from back like that but maybe this car wants not just one we maybe we want 10 students or 10 teachers to push this huge bus right yeah we want a lot of people to uh, push this huge bus because this is very heavy okay now as you see here guys we can use force to push the car okay now to push the car now that is force we can do another thing we can use another car another car and use rope between this car and this bus to pull to pull the car right to pull the car or to pull the bus now as you see here bush or bull both of them are force what is the force force is bush or bull exerting in an object to uh, help to move or change motion or to change direction that is the force force is bush or ball exerting an object to changing motion or change direction that is a force guys okay and sometimes we want a very big force as you see here guys the force is bush or ball exert in object to change motion okay or to change a position like that now but in fact force maybe will be big force or small force we can use okay maybe we can use big force or small force as you see here in this diagram or in this drawing uh, uh, we have here very big force exerting this object why because this one is heavy of course we want big force but suppose that we want to push another small car like this we can uh, just someone can uh, can push this car R right why because this one is light not really heavy now we have small force exerting this object now the force sometimes big sometimes small but all of them exerting object to change motion and it change direction okay that is the force now we have something else called inertia inertia okay now repeat with me guys believe inertia it said that any object at rest want to be at rest and any object at motion want to be at motion because that you can feel a lot of things a lot of phenomenon around you every time because of the inertia for example if we have uh, if we have cup like that and uh, we have paper or something like that here okay and we have coin here up okay if we push this paper quickly what will happen for this coin the coin moves down right that's what happen like that okay now this coin moves down quickly if we move this paper so fast right why because of the inertia now this object was at rest and want to be at rest when you move this paper or this uh, carton here quickly now this one stay at rest and and moves down another example another example suppose that you are in the car okay now you are in the car and your father driving this car okay now that's you here inside the car 
okay and now suppose that your father will uh, uh, when he uh, uh, when he drive the car okay now he moves suddenly what will happen for your body you can feel that you can feel that okay you can feel that you feel what you feel your body moves back right why because of the inertia now you was uh, you were at rest you were at rest and now the car become at motion okay now you want to stay at rest because that you will make this movement back and the opposite is right guys suppose that your father your father saw something uh, in front of him okay and stop suddenly what will happen you will move uh, uh, in front of you like that okay you 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 will move in this direction right why because of the inertia why it's happened because you were at motion and the car stopped suddenly it means become at rest and now you want to stay at motion because that you will stay at motion and to complete movement okay because that the, the safety here is very important to stay uh, uh, in your chair with this thing here you use it for safety okay and we have video now i got to show you uh, for this inertia to can explain and understand okay guys now as you see here this boy uh, uh, this boy in the train let's look over what will what's the action happen for him when the train stop look over can you see this action guys why this happen that's happening because of the inertia now the this uh, uh, train was at motion and he inside the train and he also in motion and when the train is stopped suddenly okay he want uh, he done the uh, uh, he uh, doesn't need to change his uh, uh, his action because that he stay at motion and they make this action okay and now what the meaning of inertia what the meaning of inertia inertia it means that tendency of body to resist a change in motion or rest tendency he doesn't need to change his motion or rest that is the meaning of in a tendency inertia it means tendency of body to resist the change in motion or rest that is the inertia okay now let's l take a look what will happen for the same boy when the train move look over now he is at rest now he is at rest now let's take a look what will happen oh now can you see that now when the train move now he wants to stay at rest because that when the train moves suddenly now he makes this action or this movement because of the inertia okay between force and inertia what is the difference between force and inertia look over my dear friend at the beginning we have relationship between force and inertia of course okay but inertia not the force but we have a, a very strong relationship between both I'll give you an example. Suppose that we have very huge object like that, okay? okay? On the floor. And we want to push this object. Now this object has a lot of inertia. Okay? Why? Because of the weight. More weight, more inertia it has. Okay? And this one now needs a lot of force to move. Now that is the relationship okay but in other hand if we have a small object okay and we want to uh, push this object we can push it very easy and very small with a very small force why because of the less inertia okay that is the difference now inertia okay. depends on the uh, weight depends on the weight also okay because that guys if you look over for the bus or thriller or or uh, uh, any uh, any object very huge uh, and, and they moves uh, on road don't move in very high uh, very high speed why because of the inertia this object in motion it's very very dangerous if we have bus and this bus moves by 150 kilometer per hour that is very dangerous why because of the inertia if this bus want to stop maybe it will damage something or maybe uh, we have accidents will happen because of the inertia shabab okay now inertia is very important to understand the world around okay